Hey, what's up you guys? I am so excited because today I'm showing you a little makeup look. I am by no means a beauty guru, a beauty vlogger. Literally, this whole video was just me uh, pulling shit out my ass. Doesn't mean it wasn't fun, doesn't mean you can't watch it. So my inspiration today for this makeup look came from a tarot card. Yeah, so if you guys wanna keep on watching and find out what tarot card and how this look came to be, please do. First of all, hunty, I'm gonna eat some gum. Always white, Mentos always white. Go down. Where it from? <coughs> oh, oh, that's strong. So before we begin putting on all the makeup, I'm gonna cleanse my face real quick with Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal. Now I'm gonna put on a primer. <laughs> Retinol Vitamin Enriched Instant Radiance Booster. I got it in my hair. Shit. For my foundation, I'm going to go in with Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. And got it on clearance, baby. <laughs> oh, ooh, thick, baby. I'm not a makeup artist, y'all. I'm just having some fun. Hope y'all knew. Hope you weren't surprised. Uh huh. But all my friends always ask me, they're like, how do you need your makeup? Oh my god, makeup was so good. And I'm like, I literally just slap it on. Like, no rhyme, no reason. And I'm going with an e.l.f. powder brush, I believe. Um, and I just buff it out. I'm going to go in with a setting powder. And I'm using um, Cody Airspun. It's going to be a mess, but bear with me. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, now that I look like a mother freaking ghost, <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and I'm just gonna clean up my little area and then we'll go to the next step. I'm gonna go in with another powder brush. Now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna just wipe off all the excess powder that is still on my face. Put it on the powder brush and go in. Just do it. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and honestly, they need waxing. I'm just gonna pluck them a little bit and then I'm gonna do my brows. Okay, screw that, it hurts. <laughs> no, thank you. Then I'm gonna go in with a eyeshadow powder that matches my hair color pretty closely. I'm gonna be using this dark brown right here. It's always good, and this one, fuck. So let's try this. I'm just gonna go in and do the whole thing with the concealer and all that. I ain't got time for it, so I won't do that. Okay, and then I go in now with my Benefit Gimme Brow. Alright guys, we're done with the base, face, and if this is all you want to know how I do my foundation, then you're good to go. You can click out if you want. Please don't. Please don't. This is pretty much how I do my face, full face of makeup, when it's shit gonna stay, it's gonna stick. And now for the fun part. So this is where things get witchy. I'm gonna be using my tarot card deck to pull some inspiration, if you will. I'm not good at shuffling cards. Do y'all realize how hard it is? Friend MK, shout out baby, number one shooter. She was shuffling cards the other day and I was like, bro, teach me, cause Chica can't do it. Alright guys, I think we're about ready. Okay, nice. I like this. The Ace of Wands often comes to us when we are in need of a creative outlet. Funny story. The wand reminds us to dream big and to be brave as we take the first steps in materializing our dreams. 
Don't be afraid of taking chances. Risks are always part of creation, but today they are nothing to be afraid of. Love. Love. It really speaks to me. I love the description about a creative outlet, and I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. All right, guys, I think I have more than enough to do something with this card and make a look. Serve a look, if you will. First of all, let's talk about the card. I'm not going to actually go crazy and do her makeup look. I'm just going to draw inspiration. Yeah, I'm not going to give much instruction on this, I don't think. I'm just going to kind of wing it, and we'll see what I come up with. All right, so first I'm going to contour and highlight my face. Now I'm going to go in with my blush palette. I'm going to go for this darkest one right here. I definitely want to do something with the blue behind her. There's also a lot of silver in this look, so that's good. All right, so I find the easiest way to do a smoky eye is to start below the lids. So I usually just go in with a Q-tip like this. I'm telling you guys, you think I do it so well and I literally I have no fucking clue. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the other side of the um, Q-tip and go in with a red color. Since she does have a little bit of red under her eyes, I kinda wanna do that. Right there. Lazy with having to show you all the colors. I'm sorry, I just don't like to do it. I'm going to go immediately back with the same blending brush. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with a Q-tip and kind of clean up the line on top. I usually do my inner corner with my finger, but my nails are too fucking long, so here we are. I'm Now that that's wet, I'm going to go into the red color again. Red burgundy. Ron burgundy. And then on the inner inner part, I'm going to go back in with that heroin blue color. Now I'm going to go back in with the red and just brighten up that transition. Fabulous! Okay, now I'm going to wipe off the fallout that's underneath my eyes. And the okay. I'm gone. Now we're going to curl the eyelashes. Okay, this is Benefit Roller Lash. Whoops. So yeah, I just fucked up a little bit. <laughs> Q-tip solve all my problems. I'm just gonna go in with that. It's time to put the lashes on. And let me just say, before anybody freaks out, yes, I use pointy tweezers, and I mean they're freaking pointy. Um, don't do this. Maybe just don't. Maybe just don't do it. I don't know. That's just what I do. I'm sorry. Okay, last but certainly not least. We are going to do the lips, okay? I don't know how it's gonna go, we will show you. But I'm gonna go in with this um, L'Oreal color, Drumbeat Red. I so I'm gonna go all around with the red and then we'll see what I do with the black. <laughs> I don't know. You know, if there's one thing I've always liked about myself, it's my lips. I feel like I actually have pretty decent lips. Hell, I don't know. Okay, now we're going to go in with this black color. There. And then I'm going to just rub my lips together. I did a little bit too much of the black, so I'm going to go back on top and kind of just do the outside of my lips with the red again. That's the look. <laughs> That's all she wrote. So again, here's my inspiration. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this. And um, if you can, I would appreciate it. Comment down below and let me know what you think of my new filming setup. How you guys like it. If you don't like it. If you think it still needs some improvements. Anything, just let me know. Um, I hope it's a lot better quality. I told you guys I wanted to make my content better. And I hope I'm doing that. I will talk to you later. Bye.